Hello guys, it is Mandy. I hope you guys are doing well. Please ignore if you see any of the mess behind me. I'm hoping that you're seeing little Miss Penny here. I put her in one of the outfits that Josie over at Josie's Jungle Room sent for my babies. It's this little white, little kind of um, long sleeve t-shirt. It's got a little bunny applique on the front, little gray bunny, and little blue pants with white stripes. It matches her big blue eyes. Hoping you guys are seeing her and not seeing me. I hope you're not seeing me because I am let me scoot a little bit further. <laughs> I'm not looking so hot today. I've been quite busy, so anyway, we are going to talk about a topic today. So if you're in the Dolly community, you've probably seen some um, videos about what has been happening with the Dolls of the World Expo. Um, there has been some people, including some friends of mine, that have been um, banned from the show. They have been banned from the show. Um, some of them were banned perhaps because they owned replicas. And some of them were banned not because they owned replicas, but because they spoke out in support of people who wanted to own replicas. And um, they were removed and banned from the Facebook groups that were dedicated to the doll show. And um, the only way to find out information about the doll show, to find out about um, you know, uh, uh, prices, tickets, you know, all that was in the groups dedicated to the doll show that were being run by the, um, the administrator. And so they were removed from those doll groups. Um, they were banned from coming to the show. And I went in to talk about that because it just, it, okay. <laughs> Common sense is going to tell you that these women, these people that I hold in very high regard, some of them are closer than a sister to me, common sense tells you that none of them were going to stroll up in a doll show dedicated to artist-made dolls with a replica in their arms. None of them were going to do that. That would be, now that, I will concede that if you go to a doll show that is there to help support the artists who have um, vendor tables, whether they be actual painting artists or sculpting artists, um, it would be disrespectful to take a replica into the doll show with you, um, unless maybe it was a child or, um, or something like that. None of these women, these grown up women with plenty of common sense. None of them were going to stroll up in these doll shows with a replica in their arms. Um, they might have them in their collection. They might have made videos um, like Sina. Sina has made videos um, speaking out against the bullying that happens against people who own replicas. She's made videos, you know, telling you know, saying that she has friends who own replicas. Um, I have numerous friends that have replicas. Now, I have always been a collector of authentic only reborns. That's just what I prefer. Um, I have had, I believe, two replicas in my collection. Um, and I don't have them now. One I gifted to a friend. Actually, I think both of them I gifted to a friend. Um, and at the time, I did not 100% realize that they were replicas, but, but I did have them. 
and um, and I very likely will be having one again because one of my really sweet friends is sending me a baby from her collection that she loves to be mine and he just happens to be a doll from AliExpress so I will be having a replica in my collection but all of my other dolls every single one of them is an authentic artist painted reborn and I think that the the bulk of the collections of these ladies who were banned they are authentic reborns they have put lots of money and lots of energy into um, not only collecting authentic reborns but also supporting artists supporting sculptors every time we have a baby um, on our channel that we are showing um, that is advertisement for not only the artist who painted that baby but also the sculptor who created the baby and I believe now I don't know everyone who was removed but I know at least two or three that I'm pretty close with that were removed and almost all of them have collections that are made up of mainly authentic reborns. They have put in the time and the money and the energy into promoting um, this art, into promoting this, this beautiful art. Um, and to tell someone that they cannot come to a doll show, that they cannot come put their energy and their money into that doll show because they have a different view is really... <sighs> you guys know that I'm a pretty devoted Christian, so obviously I'm not going to sit here and cuss and rage because that's not who I am, but... Um, it is dangerous when we start excluding people based upon their viewpoints. Um, a lot of people that own replicas, and many that I know who own replicas own them because they, they are maybe on a fixed income. They don't have a lot of disposable income. Um, and they wanted the chance to have a beautiful doll and they happened to buy a replica. Um, I think that most of those people would probably wish that they could have an authentic one, but they made their choices. They have a replica and they love their dolls. And I think that to take this elitist point of view and to, I'm just going to say, discriminate against people for their views to make sure that the only voices that you hear are your own, to basically put yourself into an echo chamber where there is no viewpoint but your own. And I realize that people have strong viewpoints on this, you guys. And I used to have a really strong viewpoint on it myself. Um, but if we only ever hear our own voices, we never get to experience the point of view of other people. Um, and it really also... Now listen, when I say this, if you want to argue with me, you can send me a private message if you want to argue. But if you leave a comment talking about my point of view that I'm about to express, and you're um, and you're uh, condescending or rude or disdainful or want to fight with me, I'm going to delete your comment and I'm going to block you. But I cannot help but notice that a lot of the women who were removed from those groups were women of color that have been banned from that show. And that really bothers me. That really bothers me. Um, if, I mean, are there going to be any diverse voices and faces at the tables at those doll shows? Uh, I hope so, but, um, I can't help but feel 
very concerned that that a lot of the women that were targeted were were doll collectors of color. Um, it it I've been looking at the videos. I've been watching the videos. I've been watching the comments, and a lot of them are women of color. And I have also seen likewise comments where people are saying disparaging things about those people. Um, you know, saying, oh, you know, they're trying to pull the race card. And it's, <laughs> I don't think that you can escape something like that when you have chosen to remove a lot of women from your group and they happen to be women of color. Um, so, um, anyway, if you want to argue with me, then you can argue with me. Um, but I'm going to delete your comment because I'm not going to entertain people starting I'm not going to entertain any kind of racist or derogatory comments in my videos. So, take it as you will. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Though That's how I'm feeling. Um, I just hope that these people who chose to ban anyone who has ever had a replica or anyone who has ever even spoke up in defense of their friends who have them... I hope these women who made those decisions to ban them um, will realize that no one would have been stupid enough to bring a replica to a doll show. No one would have done that. They would have brought their authentic dolls to the doll show or they wouldn't have brought one. If the rules state that there's no replicas allowed in the doll show, then of course they wouldn't bring them. I mean, that's common sense, but to completely jump the gun and to go stalk people's YouTube channels and to go stalk people's social media accounts and ban them from attending an event based upon that, that is, <sighs> yeah. Anyway, you guys, that's it for today. So, if I lose subscribers over how I feel about this, that's fine. I'll, I'll get them back. I'll, I'll, other people will come. So, sorry. <laughs> um, I will continue to collect authentic Remorns. I may end up having a replica or two, but I will continue to love and support this art. I will continue to admire this art for what it is, the fact that, that it is beautiful, one-of-a-kind art, um, but I also believe that any doll that someone chooses to have in their collection that they choose to love is a beautiful thing. So anyway, you guys, that's it. So we'll see you later. Bye. Now I gotta stand up and turn the video off. All right, guys. Bye.